No. Okay. Overexplained game. Okay. Hey everyone, um, I wanted to try out Elemental Shaman mainly because I kind of was curious to see how it would perform uh, at my ranks. Uh, this deck has really good, so I think is a really good deck kind of at the low ranks. Um, it's a good, it's a great beginner deck um, because it really focuses on, on fundamentals. You spend your mana, you play minions, you get ahead on board, you spiral ahead. So I tried out the higher ranks. I did not do great, now I, I did get wins. Um, and you know, we had some really actually good games. Uh, we did, we did get scammed a few times, but the same at the end of the day, like we want to be the deck that's scamming. Um, and this deck just can't really compete with the high tempo of the high legend meta of like the, the broken decks. Um, we're not killing, uh, Mizaki mages fast enough. We're not keeping up. With... Now some games were actually, you know, we can keep up with the rogue until they go scab. So we actually will do really well against rogue. Uh, we'll be about to kill them because things like Snowfall Guardian are really good. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I end up going four and seven uh, at, at high legend at top 100 uh, on the Asia server. And I'm just feeling like this deck doesn't quite make the cut at high legend. That being said, um, if you're just trying to get to legend, if you're trying to work on your basics, um, I think this is still a great deck. Um, I think this is a much better deck for, I think, the beginners to teach fundamentals than Pirate Warrior. Uh, the reason I don't like Pirate Warrior as much is it kind of is just kind of it has some of this, but it's kind of like just jam and win your quest. And what I like about this deck is it it forces you to kind of learn how to use minions uh, to get ahead and to, to win. Uh, so this is not the Doomhammer variant. And what I don't like about the Doomhammer variant is it's so like uh, you cannot really have your good fundament, some fundamentals and just play Doomhammer and just start hitting in the face. And sometimes your opponent can't kill you fast enough. And that might be easier, but that's not going to teach you like how to like take value trades. Uh, somebody asked what a value trade is um, just before, just literally two minutes ago in chat. And like value trade is subjective. So like when you see a commercial and it's like, oh, buy this, this $80 value for only $19.99. So you got $80 worth of value for 20. But what is value? Like they're saying it is, it all depends. So sometimes, um, so, for, but the classic value trade is we assume minions are equal. If I trade a one, one and you have a three, one and I trade my one, one, both of our minions die. But you lost a 3-1 and I lost a 1-1. One, one. So that's better. So generally what you do is you play, you know, play minions, you get ahead on board, you spend your mana. Spending your mana is very important in this deck. Um, like uh, you lose your mana um, and you try, try and spiral on board. If your opponents remove your minions, just keep playing more minions. Take value trade. So a great way to value trade with this deck is playing whack and hammer. So your opponent, uh, maybe they're playing the rogue deck, they play the 3-3s. Three and you, maybe you have a Wailing Vapor on hand and you can go you know, do something like Whack-A-Mole and then hit that. And let's say let's say an ideal start. Let's say you go Wailing Vapor, then you go Cage Match on two, and your opponent goes the three threes um, for, as Rogue. Then you might go Whack-A-Mole Hammer, hit, the, hit their, uh, their three three, that's so that you get the weapon value. And then if your, if your Wailing Vapor went up to three attack, it could take a nice value trade because it would have uh, four health as well. Um, on the other three three so that's that's kind of the classic uh fighting for board taking value trades kind of thing so this is a very good deck to get big basics now i've been playing it at high legend and i don't think it makes the cut i just don't think it can keep up with with the rogues with the just every deck it's like even we, we played against a paladin and we literally hexed a 10 health minion like it was so so good and we thought we we're gonna win and they just kept hitting taunts um and we weren't able to get through. So our deck is a little too fair, um, but yeah. So uh, this one isn't running Instructor Fireheart to be more budget friendly. So uh, if you're wondering to be budget friendly, Brucon's the kind of, uh, we had a lot of games where actually we were, we were looking for Brucon and we didn't get him, unfortunately, but I think Brucon is a very strong card in this deck, but you don't need Baron. Uh, you can replace Baron with either Instructor Fireheart or Alexstrasza. I think those are the two good things. Alexstrasza, like I said, not gonna be really good enough in the high legend meta because it's just too slow. But on the climb to legend, where your opponents are a little bit weaker, uh, they're playing weaker decks. They're they're not uh, tempoing out fast. They're not going for wins as fast. Uh, Alex Raza can be a very good finisher. So um, that's kind of my opinion on this deck. Uh, like I said, uh, I think like I said, a great deck to get to legend. It's going to be a hard time really going to that next level uh, in the current meta. In previous metas, I think there's a deck that I would see a lot at top 100, top 200, but I haven't been seeing that much. I'm just playing on it. It just feels like. It can't quite keep up. So anyways, uh, got some games for you guys. Enjoy. Real quick, whatever, I forgot on the Mulgans. Um, you want to be keeping your one drops, your Wailing Vapor, your Killing 
uh, your Cage Master Custodian. Um, I keeping three drops uh, if I have a one drop on coin or if I have Cage Master Custodian going first and I'm keeping Granite. That's pretty much it. Um, you could do a very like meta keep on Snowfall Guardian, but I don't recommend it. Anyways, that's it for Mulligans. Enjoy. Think they're actually major, or do you think they're a rogue in disguise shot? Hmm. Well, I guess it paid off, Wills, even despite the fact that Storm Pike is terrible. Yeah, somebody commented on a YouTube video. They're like, why don't you put Storm Pike in this deck? On the, the Belly Druid. And then I was like, why don't we? And the only answer I can come up with is Storm Pike is just fundamentally terrible. But I don't really have a better answer than that. You know what I mean? Like, I think I'm gonna go coin through Trap here. Happy Feast of Wintervale. I think he's Mizaki still, or do you think he's Rogue? I don't really know yet. He's Rogue, these are really good, but probably Mizaki. Trust no one. Not even trust Ooh. no one. Not even me. This is awkward where that I felt that that two minute spell is just too good there, even though I'm playing off curve, which is really bad. Um, but like, you know, I could push six here, you know, like and remove that and make their spells super annoying here. So uh, like that, that frostbite was so good that I took it, even though like th this is like Hearthstone 101. You don't play off curve like this. This is a terrible play. So I, I've. I, if I had a student, they'd be like, well, didn't you tell me to play on curve? And I'd be like, yeah, but... So... You know? Yeah. They're doing a very aggressive play here. Okay. Yeah, well, this isn't even, you know... This is... It's more of, like, value in a way. Like, but still, I mean... Ooh, that's a good top deck. Now I can do this. I can do this now, and I can play both this and that next turn, which is good. Um, yeah. Trust no one. Not even trust no one. Not even me. I don't see anyone playing Doomhammer. I mean, this version, this I don't consider this to be a top like top deck where we're playing. Um, but I think it's a good deck, and I think it's a thing of like. Trust no do you have a command for the deck list? I do not. I'm sorry, um, donkey's not working. Um, I can get it later, but not right now. Yeah, this just kind of wrecks people, you know. Do you actually have a clear here? Oh, he's looking. He's fishing. He's a fisherman, chat. Chat, we got any fishermen in the chats? Dude, nobody knows. Like, how does it even know anyone know if it's coming? Like, I don't think there's any nerf coming. Chat, I think the, the devs have evaluated the meta. And they've decided that... um. No way. You get there? 
You dirty, uh, you dirty wild Paul Mo high roller. All right, well, I guess we do this again. Round two, chat. Scabs coming. Scabs. No way. No way. Oh, it's so bad. I can frog it, but like that's not that good because I don't have a way to. All right. Well, I gotta frog it here. Um. Chat, what was I thinking that this deck could grow? <laughs> it was revealed to me in a dream. Yeah. Look, 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 people are just optimistic. And I think, like, content creators basically go out and say, like, if the devs don't nerf this card, they're idiots. And they say that enough times, the devs say, like, okay, we'll nerf it, you know? Like, I think that's what, what happens. <laughs> Something like that, you know? <laughs> what are the idiots, do they? <laughs> oh, they don't, so... They'll, they'll play around that shit. Okay. So, I'm finding, like, Rogue is OP. Like, what is this bullshit we're playing? Wait, wait is he not killing my guy here, actually? What's he doing? Oh, he's got a freaking... Oh, it must be nice. Dude, Rogue is so freaking good. It's stupid. I have such an easy deck here, but, like, it's easy in that it's not... Really winning for us. You know what? We're still in the game very much though, though, so I think I shouldn't uh We're actually it's weird, like we were really ahead and then we weren't, but like we're kinda trading one for one. And if it, he's used both passages. So if he doesn't have Edwin and if he doesn't have scabs, uh things aren't that great for them. So now, Rogue finds a way. Like, yeah, that's what I mean. They just have, like, so much bullshit value, but, like, you know what I mean. Give me that. Dude, how does, like, my opponent have, like, 80 prize plunders in their deck? I swear, it's, like, prize plunder after prize plunder. God, this card's so good. Okay, um... I think I prefer this here. I'm kind of looking to outvalue them at this point. I wonder if I should have tried to buff up the hero power instead there. It's probably fine. Oh, there's the Edwin. There's the Edwin. Wait, did they hit scabs here? Unlucky? Weapon, okay. Damn. That's a jerk move. Okay. Ooh. I think I hold off here. Um. I can go Ice for Revenant plus the Freeze next turn. I could freeze the Edwin, which is an interesting choice here. Might be the right choice. Save this for later. Play this. I also like... Oh, crap. All right. Now that I think about it, like, they're going to have to go scabs next turn, right? Like, that's their play. So maybe I just do this. Then I... Yeah, this is a spot where, like, they're going to go scabs here. So, like, why... I don't know. Yeah, so I, I like getting the heal here. And they go face here. Okay, they trade here. They go to the side. But, like, they can't really use the Edwin again. It's not very good because they're just going to be out of card draw, you know? I can draw, like, two more cards here. Oh, I get the Sleep Breaker back, which is actually fantastic. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do this. Hmm. 
turn. Alright. Being free animal. They're out of stuff. Um, I have I have gray worms here. I have freezes. So, see what they got here. I'm running low on ingredients. Okay, so they're going to Edwin into that guy. So that must be Smite, maybe. Okay. 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 And I guess I don't want to trade here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I don't know what their last two cards are. Maybe another SI Extortion? I don't know. What are their last two cards, chat? Do you know? Does anyone know? Trading here. It's a good trade, honestly. Um, I think we got them here, though, because I... I don't know, I can freeze this and kill this, but maybe maybe we don't. I don't know. Swash burglar of swash. Ooh, Baron. I can't play Baron, can I? Because, like, I played Baron here. Problem is, like, if they play both Wicked Stabs, can I play Baron here? That's the question. Let's freeze this. Hmm. Come on. Uh, well, Maestra, and then... Oh, yeah, the Viper. Okay. Um... Yeah, so I just have to now prevent him from setting up two turn lethal, and then we win because we go Baron, so... He's trading here, so he's got this. He's got these. This is really annoying. Like, not only like killing this doesn't net me any tempo, but all I have to do is figure out a way. We're playing Papega Shaman. Uh, yes, currently. Oh, so he's going face. Um, takes three fatigue damage next turn, right? He's the trade, right? Oh, he's got me. Does he have me? He's freaking has me. He just all he has to do is trade on my four four here. Yeah. Oh, do I, am I dead? Uh, chat, I'm, I'm I'm fricked here. I can't I can't kill this. Like it doesn't do me anything. Oh, and sometimes lucky chat. Sometimes lucky. Oh, let's go. Oh, well, that was a game. That was a good game. Holy crap. I keep this. I might keep this. The other day mine is mine. I posted a joke. Oh wait, what what happened, dude? I don't understand, dude. All I saw was you're cheating. So like, I don't know. I hope I don't know the context. Wait, this play did not work, chat. I don't know why I did that play. Oh god. 
I, I, uh, chat, I'm throwing here. I'm throwing over here. Oh, God. I forgot that all I had to do was, oh god, that was such a mistake. That was a pretty big mistake. I mean, here, I don't know, dude. I mean, look, I, uh... You, here's the reality is people are cheating all the time and you look pretty you, you look pretty shitty in that picture I don't know um, But you look pretty shitty there um, So time will tell but Cheating I mean like nobody likes a cheater, you know, so it's a thing of you are cheating No one's gonna like you now. I hope I hope it was just a prank Jero. I hope I mean, we can look at it. It looked pretty condemning there. Well, I wonder if I can find it. Who, who? I mean, dude, here's the thing. Does someone have the post on Twitter? Let's see if I can find it. Am I fucked here? Open the cages here? I kind of think I want to go uh, this coin baron next turn. Oh wait, I'm, I'm over turn. Okay. Let's open the cages here. Uh, just a prank, bro. Just a prank. Oh yeah, here it is. Uh, so I mean it looks like you're Q sniping not at, but yeah I mean Wow, wait, holy crap, that's a, that's a board. What do I do here? Hmm. What to do? Bone chill! I have 19 damage here. Likely am I dead if I just ignore board and go face here? I'm not really paying attention here, chat. So, I guess I could just fight for board here really hard.
That worked. I mean, here's the thing. What do you bother sniping? I mean, to win, I want to finish 50. You love learn 20% matchup. This looks pretty bad. Like, it looks like you're confessing to your friend. And your friend turned you in. This doesn't look like a joke, dude. It looks like you're guilty. Now, I'm not in charge of things. But if I were a jury... And this was all the evidence. Bruh, it's just a prank, bro. You know? Oh. Uh, pretty shitty thing to do. Nobody likes a cheater. Trade Hunter. Chat, I'm literally autopiloting this game. I mean, look, look. You didn't violate the rules here. Look, chat, you're allowed to be in this chat if you're not, uh, was a public Discord? I don't know, though, dude. Like, I don't know the situation. You gotta make your case. So, like, like I said, that's the only evidence I've been given. So, and that's not a lot of evidence, to be true, honest, so. Um. Is this explosive trap? No, it's ice trap. Okay. Um, this order sucks, by the way, chat. Ooh, Brucon. Could be a win, chat. Alright. Who's gonna laugh at that? I know, right? Hilarious joke. I mean, you know, I. So. Wait, was I dead the second aim shot? No, they already used both aim shots, so. Easy chat. Alright. Where's your croc shirt? Dude, I'm. Dude, dude, I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> what are the odds? Uh. How freezing six attack with life steal is worth it for plus one plus one. I see everyone doing it. Um, so I have twelve attack there. So either they go scabs there or they die. So I might as well get the heal now. Okay, over explain game. Okay, so I kept uh, wailing vapor and threw away everything else. Wailing vapor is a one drop. Um, so it's 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 one of the best cards you can have in your opening hand. Um, I don't really want to go coin cage match. Uh, so and we want to play one drops. We want to play minions and we want to start spiraling. So I'm gonna play the Wailing Vapor. I'm not gonna do anything else here. <laughs> exactly. So. <laughs> All, right. All right, so um, I had the option to do something like a Coin Arid or a Coin Grey Worm into Grey Worm. Here's why it's a really bad play as of now. Um, we just topped a granite. Granite is the 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 secret sauce of this deck because it's the mana cheating. And if you've listened to any good player, they say the secret to winning in life is mana cheating because uh, mana is more efficiency. So by waiting a turn, I can coin it out. So I'm gonna do the solid tempo play. Um, and this is like a slow play. This doesn't like a two, two mana two two is not very good, but it draws a card, uh, which is good. And it draws a good card. Um, and these are more flexible. These are cards that are good to like respond to their boards. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go face. Um, what's nice now is we can go coin granite, which is a very solid, reliable, respectable play that you can take home to mom. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, well, once we do this, this will net us two mana on these guys. So we can go coin granite to like both of these, which is very strong. So cheating <laughs> is it for in life? Uh... Can we make bets? Uh, sure, dude. I mean, if, L if Lenko starts it, but...
Oh, Coco says, would you recommend Belly Druid or Beast Druid or Face Hunter for my third spot? Um, so Belly Druid's really, really good against Poison Rogue, but same thing with Face Hunter. So uh, Face Hunter's really bad against Thief Rogue. So if you were going to ban Thief Rogue, um, I would take the Face Hunter. If you're not banning Thief Rogue, because uh, then, but and if you're banning Poison Rogue, none of those options are very good. So, okay. As planned, chat, I'm going to go coin uh, Granite here. Now, this gets the discounts, puts a 4-4 four four on board. These are good things. Um, now, I have the option to kill this or not. Now, I have learned something in life, and that's Wand Thieves are a bitch, so I'm going to kill it. Um, I could... I'm going to take this value trade. Uh, I've just been scanned by too many Wand Thieves, and this is not that much damage. So, I'm, I'm trading here, taking out the Wand Thief, all right? That's something, like I said, something I've learned in life. So... <laughs> Relagging. <laughs> Please take off a lot. <laughs> so, sorry, that was uh, that was some, I, I I try I try not to to swear too much, but occasionally a well timed swear can carry a lot of value. Um, same thing with like a well timed snowfall guardian. Don't be too easier to swear. Don't be too easy to use your Snowfall Guardians, all right? You swear too much, it loses its value. But an occasional, well, even, you know, even a PG movie will sometimes have one nice S word in it, you know? So, okay. So we have an interesting conundrum here. Um, so the, but I, this is really tough. Um, this is really tough because, like, I think we just play. So, I, I, I really would love to use these minions on their things because these are both like good minions to respond to minions. But if I don't play an elemental, I lose the elemental chain. So, I think I'm just going to live in the world where I, when I tell my students, play minions, spend mana. So, I'm going to play my minions. I'm going to go face. The problem with like not playing a minion. So, I would love to do something like this plus weapon, but I don't have enough mana. Um, I would love to use the wind chill, but I can't freeze anything. So, and this also gets two buffs on this. So we're just putting massive pressure on them. And now they have a really tough time, like, can they respond to this? And what's nice is, this represents six damage. So we actually have a lethal setup for turn uh, for turn eight um, very easily. If one minion survives, we can lethal on turn six. So it's a thing of like, we're just putting tons and tons of pressure here. And there's a very good chance our, we're gonna lethal on turn six. Uh, we go weapon next turn, and we maybe a freeze a minion. Um, and then we have this. So this is nine damage from hand. So he, our opponent here, Seraphin, really has to clear our entire board. And this is the power of tempo. Like, we're not doing anything fancy. We're not doing anything crazy. All we're doing is we're spending our mana and we're playing minions. And our opponent is sweating because they know the power of spending mana and playing minions. Spending mana and playing minions wins games, you know? Look, look, my, um, my cousin, she brought home a man uh, that she was dating and she's like, this guy spend man spends his mana and plays minions. And the whole family approved. Uh, because they know uh, that's someone, like I said, you can bring that home, uh, that kind of person home. Because uh, just that's a good person, you know? So, oh, good play by our opponent. Very good play. Uh, very frustrating play. Um, okay. So, um, I'm probably going to go a whack a null hammer here and hit him in the face. Um, I can double freeze this. Uh, we're, but I think we're going for the not. We're going to stop fighting for board because we have Brucon, so we can even might even be able to win through scabs. Uh, but I want to be freezing this minion every turn because I don't want them to. Um, I don't want them to be able to um, to get the life steal. So I'm going to play this minion. I don't even have to do this, but I like going. I'm going to go windchill next turn, but this hides information because I'm planning on going it first. Then I'm going to freeze this. Okay. So we can freeze this every turn and they will never get the lifesteal. Uh, and then I'm going to go whack an old hammer and go face. So remember at this point, I'm not trying to win board anymore. They they did the broken rogue stuff. So they've kind of won board. I could fight for board by weapon hitting those, these three threes. But I would rather just keep putting on pressure here. Um, so we're one frostbite away from lethal as well. Um, we're one gray worm away from lethal. Uh, we should probably be trying to play an elemental because gray worm is a, a top deck lethal right now. Uh, so a lot of top deck lethals we can get. Um, but if we don't get the top deck lethals, we can just freeze on six, freeze on seven, Brucon on eight. Um, and if they, unless they go scabs and clear their own minions. And if they go scabs, what's the good news? We go Brucon, we kill their four twos. 
it's not so looking so hot for them. All right. They still have to respond to this board. Uh, they still have to like keep fighting, and this is, this makes things difficult for them. So, okay, they have the broken card chat. This is unfortunate. Um, you know, prize plunder. Uh, you know, is a good card. So, unfortunate, but yeah, this is a good play. Uh, our opponent knows what they're doing. They've learned to, to take value trades and spend mana play minions. So now it's a race. Now, I don't know if I can. We might lose this game. Um, because. The pro here's the problem. It's like even if they don't kill us next turn, um, they're killing us pretty fast here, you know. Um, so it's, it's it is a little awkward. Okay. Um, so I think I'm gonna freeze this again and go with the original plan. But we can use a hexy boy now and like hex one of their minions and maybe uh, and force them to do some trades. So I'm gonna freeze this here. Let's see if we get some damage. Okay, we got another wind chill. This is an interesting conundrum of like, do we go? For some board here i think we also could even uh we could abandon our previous plan um which actually seems reasonable to me so we could abandon our previous plan of um of uh like not fighting for board because if i'm gonna hex so i could hex this and then i have brew count on lethal but i always can just use the frostbite uh on seven um on their face so i think i'm gonna abandon my previous plan here chap uh, i'm gonna abandon it i'm gonna go wait i'm gonna go uh, this first, this so I get a minion. Uh, I'm gonna weapon hit this three three, and then I'm gonna go hexy boy here. So this uh, just takes a lot of stats off the board, forces them to do trades, um, and we could do multiple freezes next turn and frostbite their face, setting up for a lethal. Um, and they have to respond here, like they they have to do something. Um, like this is scary for them, you know. Scabs would still be an excellent play here, and probably, like, if they have scabs here, I don't think we win, unfortunately. So, we have double wind chill next turn. Um, so, it's an interesting situation. Um, it depends what their hand is. Uh, I probably shouldn't be playing around the high rolls, because... The absolute high roll, I don't think we can beat, but I think we can beat some medium rolls here, you know? Um, so, but yeah, so remember, our plan is we have six damage here. Uh, we're hoping Brucon is our lethal. We could hit something good, like, let's see, are they going scabs? They are going scabs. This is unfortunate. Um, this is very unfortunate, because uh, they don't need much damage to win now, and I don't think we have a good play. Like, we don't have a good answer for this. This is very unfortunate, unless we top deck Snowfall Guardian. Um, we can't even use this Canal Slugger. This is very unfortunate, chat. Um, I think we're losing. I don't know how to win here. Um, this is very sad. Uh, I don't know how to win. So this is the reality. This is, you can see the difference between scabs on six and scabs on seven. Um, scabs on six wins games and they're even not playing a minion. So I don't have anything to canal slugger, uh, which is a nice play. Um, so I'm not sure what I could even top deck here. Like, cause I could go hero power wind chill here to draw a card. But there's not even that much I can get that helps us, which is unfortunate. So I might just play both of these for tempo. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, is there a card that helps us here? But hey, last Um So I, I guess I could... Uh, oh, that's a good point. All right, I think I like that. Um, if I don't hit a taunt here, we can hex... No, the, the, you, no you, can't, you can't hex your own guys. So that doesn't actually work. But I still like going for the hex there. Um, so I'm just going to play... Like, like I said, freezing just doesn't really do anything. We, there's no out we can hit. Um, so I'm going to just tempo out the Leap Pad Lurker. And they need one damage. One damage. Not that hard to have. Uh, but that being said, all their cards in, on board don't work. Unless they, they have like Cookie. The, they play Cookie the, the Cook. And they figure out a way to kill him. But um, but yeah. Are they doing anything about scam? So Alright, so they're just one top deck away from lethal. And they got, they got it. So it was... Uh, Nicely played game by our opponent. They, uh, it was interesting. You could see the, the issue is like, um, we could have fought for board harder. That might've been the right play. Um, I thought we were gonna be able to win with just burn, but um, so that was interesting. So the big decision is like what we had to decide is like, cause we did a lot of damage, was like when to give up on board and when to keep fighting, so. Paladin, ooh. If it's actually Paladin, this Mulgan's really good. Um, if it's rogue, it's much less good. 
but um horde uh arid storm is really good against paladin here because you go like one drop and then you like kill off their freaking like annoying minions so the way you the easiest way to beat paladins is just value trade them so paladins are really bad at trading uh they have lots of clunky plays so uh, the way you beat paladin is kind of abusing their board um and the fact that they have bad like or fight for board mechanics so i'm not even sure this is correct um so they could have just gone sleep breaker there and trade um because this is weak to carry all which i don't like okay they are this okay it's interesting um that's the high roll damn that's so bad all right okay i kind of don't like my play now all right let's see um all right i think i gotta take the the, the, the the, the rough ray out here. I don't want them wrecking me here with this minion, so I don't want them to have easy targets. Uh, Kyriel is really good here. But with Kyriel, we, we develop Ice Revenant and we're actually in an okay spot, so. But, I mean, that was a very, very strong play. Okay. We're both, like, one of the words like Hand of a Doll here. Hand of a Doll. Hand of a Doll on the stone here. Okay, wisdom? Okay. Can handle this. Um, Elements guide me. Might have been better to double face there because they're most likely to play as like Aldor True Seeker here. But yeah, it might have been better to double face there because like they're just gonna trade there. But I guess they get the double buff. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is very bad. Um, what do I? What's my line here? Okay. I guess I chill for a turn. Oh, I don't even have any freaking weapons I already used. In bad order then. Okay. Uh, good trade there, but if I top deck another frost spell. Dude, Irving's like a really good player, so okay, let me take a look, toxicated monkey. Um Oof, this is tough. This is tough to beat. Very tough to beat. strong play um and we draw hexy boy here chat how am i so good at this game i don't even know <laughs> oh look at that hexy boy top deck is so stupid good it's over Need like bear of broom here, but it's not luck if you call it. I agree. That was skill. I agree. Um I do love a good study session. Ooh, they got the broom play. This is solid play, so they're still in the game. But uh unfortunate. I have a lethal here. Oh. Okay. Um. 
This is so awkward. Alright, we're throwing lethal. No hope, and we win here. Uh, hope and good chance for losing, unfortunately. Damn. So close. All right, I think I do a, a Snowfall Guardian play here now. I actually should have squeezed in a Kindling Elemental there, but ooh, this Taunt Totem is super. Oh, wait, Do they draw all their taunts. That would be great. Oh, they have. Okay, okay, okay. Do I have lethal? Um, I just need to connect the 10. Or... Okay, 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 okay. Trade. Uh, I'm just short, right? It's not a gun. Oh, God. God. Okay. Um... So close. So freaking close, Chet. I have to not die, too, which is annoying. Um See if they can get through here. Sucks, chat. Sorry, I swore. I don't know why I swore there. All of it. That's gonna be game. Reporting for duty. 